Okay, I have started the stream again. Here we go. All right, so you should be able to see me on the uh, runway now. Hey, I've got destroyed behind me in the F-35. That's awesome. Now I can definitely see that. Sorry, uh, dirty dog, but you must have a different uh, MiG-21 than the one I have on my file. So what we'll do is before we do the next stream, which will be, I don't know when, but we'll work it out. Uh, we will uh, add the same one you have into my file so I can see it. And Destroyer has definitely got the F-35A by the looks of it in there. Alright, so I'm going to need uh, Dirty Dog in his little propeller plane slash MiG-21 to take off. And you might destroy it, go around me. You can take off too because uh, I think once I get going... We're going to try and get ourselves into a formation there, and we're going to be heading... Now, I hope you've got your GPS locked in directly uh, from JFK, or KJFK, to LAX. Because that's the flight path I'm going to be following, and then I'm going to work out which... Uh, wow, it's a long flight, but not the speed we're doing. All right, so Dirty Dog, if you want to take off, that would be cool. Get going. And same with you, Destroyer. Following him, following him up into the air. You guys might need to do a quick circle and then uh, catch up to me. So when you're ready, Destroyer, no, I've lost you. Disappeared on my screen. What happened there? Pressed escape, I think. Right, so we have sat on the runway here. Unfortunately, the fuel doesn't go down in this one. We are at 5.14. Okay, so we've been here 14 minutes from taxi. All right, I'm going to follow... I'm going to build up my thrust first. Probably about at least 50%. And we are rolling. Now, flaps one is the uh, window down. No, you don't have to own Flight Sim X to use these. Some of the mods require it in order to install, depending on where you get the mod from. So they kind of ask for the Flight Sim X folder. But you can download them and put them in a temp folder. Alright, we're already nosing up. Thank you. Let's try not to tail strike. And we're up. Very nice. Gear up. See a JFK. That has a bit of a lag on... Uh, frame right there. Alright, I'm going to pull right. I've lost Destroyer altogether, he disappeared on my radar, but that happens sometimes when you're playing multiplayer. See Dr. B3s. going to do the dirty and not tune in all the way there, otherwise, wow, we are nose up a long way. But we are still 100% thrust, so once we get this around, I'm going to have to turn my sound down again. Alright, Eric, been using the mods, yep, I already answered that. Awesome, thanks for the info, yep, you're welcome. Alright, hang on, flight path. Uh, yeah, the entire stream has some lag. It will when you get um, next to uh, JFK. It's a premium airport, and it um, seems to 
uh, chew up the bandwidth. Now, Dirty Dog, I'm going to try and sit around 20,000 for a start. I'm just going to try to. Alright, where is he? I've lost him. There he is on my right. Alright, I'm oscillating here. We can bring this back and then up. Uh, have you seen the German 109 mods? 109. Uh, I think I came across that. But well, I haven't downloaded it yet. I have a bunch of videos already out on... Uh, what is it? Um, Spitfire. Obviously the P-51, D-21 that came out for uh, flights in 2020, but I've, I've put in a whole bunch of World War II aircraft. I haven't actually had a 109 yet. Uh, well, I can see a name tag there, Dr. B-3s, B's, or whatever that's supposed to be, buzzing around me. Ah, oh, because we're not doing very much. All right. I'm going to back this off and then build it back up because I think when I leveled out at 20,000 it was still sucking the air in wrong. So what happens is you, you sit around the 300 knots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start speeding up and I'm going to leave it around 70% throttle. So we're 460 knots to the ground. Alright, I've lost Destroyer. Where are you Destroyer? Did you crash again? in that uh, F-35. Dr. Doctor, Doctor Threes. Okay, you dirty dog on one channel and you Dr. B-Threes. How am I supposed to pronounce that? Although you're not going to be able to type in <laughs> Discord to let me know. Alright, so it's fairly dark here. You just wait till we uh, get going. So I'm doing 570 knots to the ground now. And I haven't increased it from the 70% uh, lever, and I shouldn't need to. I should actually be able to get all the way to about uh, 1400 knots. Been looking for a 109 mod like crazy. Yeah, um, <coughs> Flyaway Simulations probably has one. They've got a lot of. Uh, planes on their database, which is quite nice. Uh, what you need to look for though is when you look in the files, uh, if you can work out if it's been converted from uh, Flight Simulator 2004, then it's not likely going to show up in your hangar in this one. Alright, Dr. B33S. I'm doing 740 knots to the ground. You may want to get a move on if you're going to keep up with me. And I'm increasing. This is, this is the Concorde. This is what it does. And when Destroyer comes back in, or he might still be in there, but unfortunately he's not on my map at the moment. Or in my visuals. I'm just going to call you Dr. B's. Uh, I'm not sure how that's meant to be pronounced. There are a bunch of other people. Captain Jupiter doesn't say what he's flying. Right, let's see if we can get a bit smoother moving that around. Try the uh, Xbox controller. Okay, I'm doing 1,084 knots to the ground. So Dr. B's, how are you going keeping up with that? I can see you back there. I wish you'd tell me how far away people were. So this was a 5 p.m. takeoff. And look at the look at the stars out. Well, it's actually about a 5 5:15 p.m. takeoff. Nice having those lights on. You just wait. Oh, I need to. Um, Bring that window in. 
So if you check it out, the window should be going up. There we go. Oh, we actually got pilots in there. Yes, we do. Oh, Dr. Bees is he's right there. Fortunately, I can't uh, can't see his plane at the moment. Alright, hopefully you guys aren't uh, suffering with a bit of a bad stream there. When I tested it before, there might be a little bit of lag. Sorry about that. Okay, we're now doing 1,445 knots to the ground. And we're on stable flight, and as you can see, we've only got a tiny bit of oscillation in this, even with autopilot on. So, it's quite nice. I'm guessing, you now it's said five hour flight. Well, not in the Concorde it's not. And when I did the flight from London to New York prior to this, it said it was going to be a 14 hour flight, or thereabouts, because it seems to think I'm in that propeller plane. But it took me two hours and 23 minutes, and that was from takeoff to landing. Right, destroyer, I've lost you all together. I don't know where you are, whether you've crashed or had to go. But, uh, sorry to lose you there. Now, we're going to get ourselves into daylight here, I think. Which was the plan. Land before the sun hits LA. I wonder what the sunset time in LA is. To the drone flight. World's fastest drone. I'm hoping they bring in a uh, Concorde that fully is um, modelled like they did previously. Right, Dr. B's, I um, think I'm leaving you behind. Sorry about that. Oop. I lost you all together on my screen. I oh, know, there you are. That's why we probably need people in other Concords. And then what we can do is we can both sit at Super Cruise, nice and easily, flying together. Can't go faster than 1,101 knots, he says. Oh no. And what am I doing? 1,508. All right. What happens if I slow down for you? You say 1,101 knots. All right, let's see if I go to 50%. Problem is, I would have to slow down way below 1,000 for you to catch up. The other issue is, I don't think you'd have enough fuel to travel this far. Not in a MiG-21, anyway. You may need to... Uh... Alright, Destroyer is back. He has installed the Concorde. Oh, we got some lag there. Yep, okay, the SR-71 crashed the game. Alright. What I suggest you do with your Concorde uh, is... If you can get it flying, I don't know if you've uh, even tested it yet, or jump in the F-35 and just click on me, not taking off from JFK, because we're a fair way already. Oh, and we're way off our path. Somebody wasn't watching, were they? Sunrise, sunset, actually. We're going towards it. So I'm going to do a slight right. Everything's got to be a slight movement on this. Yes, you can uh, do that too, but what happens is you have to uh, press escape, load out, click on me, load back in. You can fly your um, Concorde. If you've got the Concorde working, Dirty Dog, jump in the Concorde. I want, I want multiple Concords in this. It'd be awesome. Yeah, you can slew if you're nearby. 
So I've slowed down to 50% throttle now. Oops, I was at 20,000. Whoa, pressed uh, autopilot back on there and everybody lost their champagne. Yeah, Dr. Bees, you could, uh, well, you disappeared. Or Dirty Dog. Yeah, kind of like when people have the same name on <laughs> chat. I changed mine to uh, Tasmanite on everything. Brett plays is the channel, because Brett's my name. But uh, Tasmanite is what I'll use now for Xbox and Flight Sim 2020 and Discord. Look at all these airports. Don't they light up nicely on uh, flying over? To the slightly right of our path. And we've 50% with a stable 1346 knots. All right, destroyer one, uh, destroyer one to one. You're loading in now. Thank you. <coughs> I'm going to bring this back over the right and just try and get back onto that path a bit more. Are we slowing down? Or do we only slow down? Oh, because we're climbing. Watch that. Wow, you can clearly see the, uh, the runways with those lights, especially uh, at night, which is exactly what they're supposed to do. Wait, is there a runway below us? Yeah, you see. Well, for those who are watching this stream later than live, and remember seeing my last stream from London to New York. That was a boring flight compared with this one. Look at, I like all these lights. This is probably not a bad time to fly. Just on dusk. And we're flying over land as opposed to flying over water. But I have no idea where we are. K-I-D-I <coughs> K-L-B-E I'm not sure where that is, I'd have to look that up But we zoom out That Michigan That Michigan coming up Yeah I think Yeah If my geography is correct Loading on me, okay. In the Concord? I think it was, wasn't it? And Destroyer, hey, I can see you now. Now, I'm doing 50% uh, throttle. If you are in your Concord, what you might need to do is uh, get it onto Super Cruise, so you can you don't have to go full power because that puts on afterburners and it doesn't seem to yeah so back off your engine if you're having an engine problem to about 10 percent and then slowly build it up as you in the air because what happens is it seems to uh have a problem with the air intake if you just gun it so then you've got to build it back up and get it to about all right can i repeat that yeah so Back off your engines to about 10% and then slowly build it back up to about 70%. Slowly build it up. If you just jam it on and go full, it'll struggle and it almost like it uh, gets too much fuel in there and won't get going. I'm going to slow down and wait for you guys. I might bring mine back even more. Once you guys get up to 1500 knots, I have three. Ah, look at the lake in there. It's quite nice. A few scattered clouds.
Wow, look at that. 40, 37% and I'm still doing 1,200 knots. Wiffy Coyote, just overtaking you, mate. Where are you at? Pittsburgh. Right. I'm guessing. Okay, I'm slowing down through below 1,200 knots now. 1,170. What we need to do is we need to uh, we need to take off together, I think. Maybe I need to do a do a circle and get you guys to uh, catch up. Might do that. I'm going to do a right bank and do a circle. You guys should be able to catch up pretty easy with that once you get your throttles working right. Still, it's a very fast right bank. Got to bleed off some of that speed. I need to bleed off a lot of that speed. And they're still doing a thousand knots to the ground. Holy schmoly. So I'm going to do a circle here, guys. See if we can get all three Concords lined up. I'm below a thousand knots now. Nice aircraft. Did I lose someone? I've got Destroyer, but I can't see Dirty Dog. B3s. Bs. It's a Dr. Bs, isn't it? Oh, so where'd you disappear to? Dirty dog. Still losing speed on either. Increase that a fraction. And destroyer, have you got your Throttle working now, and are you getting up to speed? Level flight, 70% throttle, should be able to max that out. We are dropping. And our speed has come right down, okay. I destroy is fairly close anyway. Need to turn that altitude off. It's still trying to climb automatically. Where are you? You're right there. So I've lost Dirty Dog on my. Uh, in-game, well, we're at 400 knots. Okay, we need to build that back up again. Turn it around. Alright, I've lost everybody. Straighten up, level out. Oh, 
Alright, I actually lost everybody on map. Maybe I jumped off the server. Well, that kind of sucks. I'm not sure if you guys can see me at the moment, but I might continue on the path. I do need to go sideways, yep. Get over the right. All the plans, you lay it out, and then all of a sudden things just don't seem to work. Can't seem to get all three Concords together. Alright. Help me climbing. Don't want to climb, thank you. I'm sitting on 700 knots, if you guys can still hear me. But I can't see you in game anymore. Actually, I can't see anybody. My auto pipe back on there. Let's have a quick look around. But nobody. Let me just. Uh, Oh, what I should have done was put on active pause. Are we still on server? Yes, we are. Online, thank you. Okay. Don't know. We seem to have lost everybody. Whether you crashed or not. I'm not sure. Maybe, uh you guys are still flying those concords and you're trying to catch up to where I am and or if you can see me right in the discord let me know but at the moment I'm going to get myself back on flight path and back up to speed you see both of you engine probs Right, you're having trouble getting it up to Super Cruise? I'm guessing, that's what Dirty Dog says. Uh, the best thing to do is to ease it all the way down towards low and then build it up incredibly slowly. Oop, that was a bit of a dive. Oh, I've been climbing, that's why. So you can still see us. Alright, well that means you're here somewhere. It's just that uh, I don't seem to see anybody at the moment. Just have a fly around. What are those pilots up to in there? Ah, you can actually see the guys in the back as well. controller is vibrating though. You can use an Xbox One controller to have a look. Can you see any, any movie stars? No, you can't see anybody. Beautiful aircraft these. Amazing engineering. I only stopped because it was uh, too expensive to uh, to maintain for the British Airways alone. Right, I'm back to Super Cruise, 1487 knots. I can't see anybody else. Oh, yes, I can. Got a few people up over the, the front there. What I might do is, if you guys are here, if I'm uh, what are you? You're 1400 knots and climbing. Alright, 20,000. What I might do is I might actually add you guys to a group and see if we can't get these guys showing up. So I'm going to hit escape which will put me on pause for a second. Alright, destroyer. Invite to group. 
Dr. B's invite to group. Okay. Let's see if we can't get these three Concords all showing up. Alright, group invitation has been sent. Hello viewers, I'm not sure who the three viewers are that's currently watching. I know Eric 3E has been here. Uh, I don't know if he's still here, but he's been watching and commenting. The others might be Destroyer and Dirty Dog. Dr. Bees. So group invitation has been sent. If we can accept those when you get them, maybe then we can see each other. I'm at 1,505 knots to the ground. 20,000. There we go. Dr. B's has shown up on my stream. Thank you very much. Now, if you need me to slow down because you're doing 1,400 knots, let me know. If you want, I might do. I might just bring it back to 60% anyway. Where we are, we on the map. Wait, which one's Lake Michigan? Is it this one? Or this one? Don't know my geography well enough in the US to work it out. Right, Destroyer, one to one, did you get a invite as well to the group? Well, I'll do 60%, I'm still doing 1450. I am slowing down a little bit. Picking up a few other people, A20. C25C, even mate, you, you're not even going to keep up with this. Hey, there's Destroyer. He's popped in as well. Now, if I hit active pause, will you guys catch up real quick? That's the way to do it, that's what I should have done before. Correction here. So I'm just going to get back on my GPS line. Alright, Dr. B's are pretty close now. that back on autopilot. Thank you very much. I find autopilot works quite well with this. Alright, Dr. B's, why can I not see you yet? Is it because it's dark? I oh, know, I can see you. I can see your jet there. Here we go. You're down a little bit lower. Autopilot would be your friend. Alright, how are you doing, Destroyer? I can see you back there. Oh man, you are using that thing like a, a fighter. Man, nobody in... in <laughs> nobody's drinking champagne in there, unless they're doing it out of a sippy cup. Or a squeezy bottle that doesn't dribble. Alright, that's nice. We're going to get you guys microphones too. So I'm just waiting for Destroyer. Destroyer, do you need us to uh, pause for a moment? If so, write in no luck. No luck in getting it working or no luck in uh, getting the engines to get to the right speed?
can't increase the thrust. All right, even at 10%. Uh, the engines, when you start in the air, are they running already? Or does it take a moment to get them going? So if you use slew mode and you take yourself up to 40,000 and then you press control E to start your engines after you get out of slew mode, will there be enough time and just have them sitting on idle as you're descending see if there's enough to get it started once you hear that all four seem to be running then build it up see if that'll actually help Concord can be quite finicky at times oh wow, yep, you went up <laughs> he heard me All right, Dr. B's, get that uh, Concorde nice and level. Get yourself an autopilot setting. I mean, I have them automatically on my uh, flight stick, but I'm sure there's a keyboard uh, keys for that. Let's have a look. Keyboard controls, what can you press? Something like control A or... Autopilot. Okay. Uh, autopilot nav. Hold. Ooh, control N. Nav 1, hold is control N. Okay. Autopilot on. Alt Z. Well, that's my, uh... That's my, uh, recording as well. Okay. Autopilot off is shift Alt Z. Okay, it's good to know. Cockpit, cockpit isn't working right? No. Otherwise, I would be in there showing you. But let me have a look, user. I'll show you what it looks like. So, I've ported over some uh, dials, which uh, I think are quite static. I don't think anything on this is necessarily working. Uh, no, if I decrease, I oh, know uh, it is actually working. Okay, hang on. What did I just decrease that to? Set that back to sixty percent. Okay, so uh, I did use the latest legacy importer, but as you can see, some dials didn't come over quite right. Um, it may be an idea to do some more homework on how to get them working, but uh, not everything's working, so I can't press any of this stuff. Um, so basically, look, this is fun to fly from the outside. We've actually got the back area there as well. I like the pilots to be sitting around, but the windows are blacked out because of a texture issue. Um, I have started working on how to get rid of the uh, textures all together for the glass but not having that much luck so far. I also have some planes where the textures for the HUD is interfering with viewing and I'm trying to get rid of those as well. But look, these are steps. This is a Flight Sim X. Uh, this particular aircraft came out with... I don't know whether it came out with Flight Sim X originally or it came out in the accelerator pack i think it was the accelerator pack from memory which then gave more stable flight over mark one dr b's are you dropping behind or are you just trying to get that uh oh you got your autopilot on all right it's going slow um do you did you put a speed hold on it because i've just got autopilot on and i've got throttle at 60 percent 
1427 knots. You will go slow though if you're increasing altitude. And you can actually um, put your altitude lock in as well. Uh, I'm trying to work out. Well, you can do a mark hold as well, control M. Cool. Um, okay, decrease auto pilot reference airspeed. Increase. So the shift control insert will increase the autopilot reference speed. Oh, I've lost destroyer altogether. Uh, either destroyer is more than 200 nautical miles, or uh, he has jumped out to try and get that Concorde working again. Am Rarakanan cannon. Am Am Rarakanan. He's sitting on the ground there. Where are we? By the way, KCMI. What is KCMI? Willard Airport, Savoy, Illinois. Okay. So th this is Lake Michigan, isn't it? And Chicago's here somewhere? Yeah, I really don't know. Alright. Dr. Bees looks like he is catching up to me. Which is good, because I might actually pump it back up to 70%. And then if we can cruise together and make for a nice thumbnail eventually. Although I do have a thumbnail for this world tour. So user, have you seen any more of my videos? Is this your first time? Did you see my first flight, London to New York? A bit long. I kind of recorded that one by myself. Is typing, thank you. Uh, Dr. B's, are you what? What's your speed? Are we able to get in closer there? Maybe I do need to drop back to 65 or something. Above 1600 knots, okay, because you're descending, you're going down. Try and sit at uh, 20,000 feet, if you can. Lock in your altitude. Oh, game crash. Just I'm going to bump the F-35 engine kind of big way up. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm fine with that. An Escort, two Concords and an F-35. No problem. Okay, altitude hold is Control T. So if you press Control T, you'll be able to lock in your altitude. more stable. Looks like he's going faster than me too. Alright. See uh, Dr. T's if you can bring that uh, Concorde over a little bit. Let's try and get them side by side. just make gentle movements. If you go like a jet fighter, <laughs> like you are, are you upside down? Is that just my imagination? No. Yeah, so don't... Whoa, that's lag. What happened? Oh yeah. And you jumped in. Okay, I got a lot of lag there. 
Yeah, don't don't fly it like a jet fighter at this speed. Gentle movement. Unfortunately, I think the, uh, the internet difference between your country and mine and my stream and everything, we're not going to get a stable flight. Unless you can lock that uh, <laughs> destroyer. Realism. Lock it in at 20,000. So what was that again? Control T. Stopwatch. Yeah. Ah, well. Look at that sun. We're finally catching up to it. That's a nice shot. I think that deserves a, a drone shot. There's one. Look at that. It lags. Take a picture. The whole thing just legs oh gives it a bit of a hiccup dr b's yep you're coming in nice and easy there maybe you need to uh set yourself an altitude and speed get yourself stable with autopilot and i'll tuck in next to you Hello viewers, if you've just tuned in, uh, Dr. B33S, well, I'm calling Dr. B's, is in a, another British Airways Concorde, and we're just trying to get some stable flight here. We're coming up towards, right, where are we? We've just been past Illinois, but it doesn't take long. How do you set the autopilot to follow my route, and what do I press to engage it? Uh, it looks like, uh, is it control N? Uh, autopilot nav 1 hold, control plus N, N for November. Or you can just turn on autopilot and it will hold the direction you're already set at, which is what I do for the Concorde. So when I need to course correct. I turn off my autopilot because I don't have all the buttons in it. Slight turn to the left here just to make sure I get on. I'm traveling at uh, 262 degrees. I'll probably go to 261 here. Thank you. And then I press autopilot. It takes back over and I'm already flight level at 20,000 but I have buttons already set up on my controls for that. Uh, but that was uh, control T, wasn't it? Yep, autopilot, altitude hold, control plus T. If you've got good controls, it's sometimes a good idea to uh, set up that autopilot on your flight stick. Hey, I can see destroyer. Alright. All right, what is it, Dirty Dog? Are you set at an altitude and speed? And should I slow down? Because I seem to be going faster than you guys again. It's nice at dusk time. Certainly some sunlight there.
Okay, row 816. Hey, Ryo. Hey, Ryo, I guess. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Oh, Dr. Booze and Destroyer, or Dr. Booze or Dirty Dog, whichever one you go for. Hello viewers, we are halfway across the US already. Let's have a look and see what that airport is there. What is it? K. J E F is that Jefferson? Yep. Jefferson City Memorial Airport. I'll give you a bit of an idea where we're up to. I have Dr. Well, okay, destroyer just raced ahead of me there. Or Ray up. He's in an F-35, but uh he's having a little trouble with his uh, Concorde, but Dr. Bees is in his uh, Concorde as well. Another British Airways livery version. But we're having a little trouble getting the two to fly next to each other. Doesn't that look beautiful? Am I getting a little bit of turbulence there? Nah, that's good. For everything that happened with the uh, latest patch with autopilot going up and down and um, struggling, the Concord just powers through that. I'm very happy with that. Right, why are we turning? Ah, because I do have my navigation on, do I? Yeah, maybe I do. It's getting back onto the uh, flight path automatically. Very nice. I need to do a uh, left bank soon. If it doesn't do that, may <laughs> did I turn my autopilot off? Alright, how are you guys doing? You, you catching up? Am I going too fast? there. Now why are we turning so sharp? Are we going to get back on our flight path here now? I'm sure I turned on navigation autopilot. Oh there's destroyer. Thank you. Tuck in next to me. Okay. Oh, my navigation autopilot is working for the Concorde. Oh my gosh. Troy is buzzing around and he's <coughs> souped up F-35. Looks like they messed up the speed. Do you mean in the F-35? Oh, yeah, in small planes, once you get over a certain speed, yeah, when you get over a thousand knots, it shakes all over the place. Alright, where is my autopilot taking me? Alright, how do I turn off the navigate? Uh, doesn't say how to turn it off. So what I will do is I'm going to bring this back a bit. Give me a bit of shutter here. There might be some uh, turbulence or something. But for some reason, my autopilot changed my direction completely. Don't know what happened there. I think when I finish this, 
I might have some lunch and then I might make a video on how to import the Concorde and get it working successfully for people. And then when I start doing more of my uh, flights, well, we are really tipped over. Everybody hold your glasses sideways. No spilling that champagne. <clears throat> and then I'll make a video so that everybody can have a Concorde and get a whole bunch of them. I'll probably fly to, uh, whoops, up there. Probably fly to Honolulu next. Uh, a lot of that will be over the water, obviously. Alright, I lost. I lost one person, Dr. Bees, where did you go? Was I going too fast or did you hit pause for a second? Talking about that, let's see if we can get Destroyer to catch up. Let's pause that for a moment. It's weird how it still makes the same sound. And you can look around. A little bit low there, Destroyer. continue on. Oh, your name is weird. Did you just crash? Did that just go down on the ground? If you actually race past, or what happened? Yep, there he is. Okay, so very difficult to get uh, aircraft to be able to fly together when you're doing over Mark II. Uh, even when you have two planes that can do the same, uh, like Dr. B's slash Dirty Dog. Uh, I've lost him. He's disappeared, at least off my screen. So I'm not sure what happened there. I'm going to do a slight course correction. Yeah, definitely flying into that sun. And one thing I'm not happy about with this particular uh, Flight Sim X import is that the fuel does not go down in this particular model uh, which is a shame because I actually would like that when I did my live stream the other day uh, in the Mirage down in Chile uh, fuel was getting critical I had to find a local airport and land on it because my VFR map failed the heat blur file, so I don't know, something was going on with the uh, flight sim then, and uh, I could not see my destination or my route, where I was supposed to go, and had to find a local airport, land it, and try not to uh, run out of fuel, and I think I got down with 8% fuel left. Oh, there's destroyer buzzing around. I should have been doing. <laughs> You're almost there. I can see you coming in pretty close. There we go. I think it gets going. Now, can you, can you hang around and cruise like that? Wait, you got the Concorde working. Oh my god. Sit down at uh, 20,000 feet. 60% no, throttle. And gentle movements. So 
did we say it was? Control T, I think. Is your altitude hold? So you've got to get to. What's the increase and decrease that? I'm not sure. Oh no. Increase or decrease. It's control page up to to decrease. So <clears throat> page up to increase, page down to decrease. So control T is for altitude and then you can actually raise it up or down. Okay, ready to go. By pressing control and page up or page down. So if you don't already have a bound on your joystick like I do be careful, your, your autopilot can actually make you crash if you had it facing down. You want to have it level or locked in your altitude. And once you lock your altitude in and you press autopilot. Alright, I'm going to pause there for you as well. I notice you've stopped. So bear with us those who are viewing. I know I've had people come and go. But uh, we're just going to pause for a second and try and get all of the... Uh, aircraft together. Alright, Dirty Dog, you had to go, that's fair enough. Watch the stream tomorrow. It was great flying with you. I'll try and do some earlier ones for you, or some later ones, depending on which one who's, uh, works best for you. Alright, Destroyer, how are we going? Can we bound something? So I'm actually going to continue here, otherwise the streams don't go too long. We're already one hour. The fun and joy of, joys of trying to get uh, multiplayer flying. Suspicious speed. Oh, we can see down there, where are we now? KSLN Selena, where is Selena? Kansas, right. Wow, look at that formation. There we go, there's Destroyer. So if I hit pause break for a second. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. What a shame though that our uh, internet is not quite stable enough there. Now I'm sitting at 1428. Hey, 50 hertz. How far you got? We just passed Kansas. I just looked it up. Uh, Selena Regional Airport. That's this one here. And is this the Rocky Mountains? Not sure. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad. We've been trying to get multiple Concords flying together. So I've just got Destroyer here with me at the moment. And uh, he's trying to lock in his throttle. I reckon uh, Destroyer. Oh, you bound it to your controller. Awesome. Uh, get yourself to 60% throttle at 20,000 feet. Uh, sitting, um, I'm sitting at 1428 knots to the ground. If you are able to lock in your altitude and your direction at 249, what I can do is I can hit pause brake for a second. You will come racing up like this. And uh, we can join in together. Sorry, 50 hertz, it's not Melbourne, but this is part of my around the world tour. Uh, I wasn't actually planning on going to Melbourne in this tour. I was thinking uh, Honolulu next, and from Honolulu to. I'm not sure. 
but I can either go Tokyo or Fiji. I've got to make sure Fiji's got a long enough airport though. Alright, what's the speed destroyer? I don't think this set at 14.28 knots. I'll just wait for you to catch up. So you actually seem to be a little bit slower than that. The internet seems a bit more stable there too. Yeah, I seem to be going a lot faster than you. I'll just drop it down a bit. Something went wrong. Can I join up with you? Yes, destroyer, I'll hang out. I'll wait for you. I have slowed down to... Look, at my speed is still slowing down, so when I let go of this, it'll be doing the speed it's saying it's going to be doing. You also seem to be going up. Yep, yep, go ahead of me. Slap Z, does it work well? Uh, the Concorde, if you're talking about the Concorde, for me, yes. For others, they're still trying to make sure they get all the kinks out. Uh, which is what I said in the beginning of this stream, is that when I finish this, I'm going to make a how, how to import this into your flight sim and get it working. Alright, Destroyer, are you... what speed are you doing? You're, you're getting there. Tokyo down through Asia, you reckon? Yeah, I think... Alright, hang on, Destroyer, you're not doing as fast as you. are climbing, too. Yeah, down through um, Asia might be better, because if I go all the way from uh, Hawaii down to Fiji, and then I was thinking from Fiji, New Zealand, Sydney, Singapore, and I'm up through that way. Alright, I'll let you get ahead, and no, you're not doing the, as much speed as me. Speed it up, Destroyer. Shove it on 70%. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I need to probably uh, just ease back and wait for you to go. Get yourself level flight, 20,000, and I'll tuck up next to you. How about that? We can at least have our two Concords. I lost, I lost Dirty Dog with his Concord. No, I need you to go further. Alright, I'm going to try and get these guys together. So sorry for those who are watching at home going, it's taking ages to get it going. Well, we'll get there. So get yourself on a uh, altitude lock. 20,000 would be good. Right now, I see you're speeding up a bit. That's better. Uh, so you're above me, okay? But you seem to be speeding up more now. Oh, no, don't stop. Alright. I think when he pauses it uh, to type, we're losing him. Alright, well, we'll just have to, uh... What am I now and 10 in already? It seems that, like, the altitude does not work. Alright, all we'll do is press altitude hold correct. Yes, uh, well, I've got mine set to lock in the altitude. You should, should see altitude on the right-hand side in the blue. Mine says 20,000. So once I've locked that in, I know that it will sit at 20,000. Once you've got your altitude locked, then press, yep, okay, he's sending me a picture showing altitude, and then press autopilot after that. So lock in your altitude first, then lock in autopilot. Alright, sorry, I'm not sure how my internet's going, I'm buffering there a bit. Apologies if it's a bit delayed. And for those who have come in late, this is what we see out of the cockpit at the moment. 
My, uh, my dials have come in mostly, some have failed to come in correctly. Uh, the fuel is correct, the engine stuff's correct, but I don't know if the mark speed works because I think it's actually like that static. It basically stays like that. Alright, destroyer's still trying to get in. I hit pause and wait for a moment, destroy. No, you might have to slew ahead. Catch up. So like 50 Hertz was saying, maybe I could go down through Honolulu to Tokyo. Tokyo, I guess you could do a pretty quick flight over to Beijing. But where do you go from there? I mean, to be honest, I'm going to end up skipping New Zealand and Australia by doing that. Because it would be a dog leg back the other way. Unless I were to go, say, from Beijing to, hey, maybe the Philippines? And then from the Philippines, it's a long journey to get our, ourselves, well, I think. What happened? Where'd you go? I lost you. From Beijing to Australia, or from Beijing to the Philippines, Philippines to Australia, is a long way. Although, really, London to New York was 3,000 miles. Alright, where have we just passed? K, G, C, oh there's a destroyer above me. K, airport is Garden City. Where is Garden City? KS, is that Kansas as well? It is too, it's Kansas, must be a big state. Or I went in from one side of it to the other. Alright, Destroyer is ahead of me. Lock yourself in at a speed there, Destroyer. Get yourself level flight and I will tuck up to you. Just tell me what you're, you're doing in chat if you can. Without dropping out. Well, looks like you got a little bit more stable there, that's good. You got your altitude, awesome. 20,000. Alright, get a nice uh, good speed. Pop yourself in at, I don't know, 60% throttle. That way I can actually speed up. And then we can both sit there at 60. We should bring us around the 1400 knot mark anyway. Obviously, we are not professional pilots, but when in the 90s, beginning of the 90s, when they were starting to promote the Concorde, they took three, I think, of these Concords up and a photo plane. All right, hang on. I must be going faster than you now, am I? I went... Oh, no, you just... Oh, right, you stopped. Okay. Wrong side. All right, hang on. Let's change the view. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, pause to meet. All right, set at sixty percent. All right, you stay there. If your throttle is uh, locked in, as in you're not no longer accelerating decelerating, I'm going to tuck in next to you. Which is good because I need to get over a bit to get back on the flight path anyway. So don't change your speed or altitude, I'll actually uh, match. Heading 248. Okay, thank you. I've overcompensated you, gone a little too far.
Wow, it doesn't take much to uh, change direction here. Alright, let's get a couple of Concords lined up, shall we? So don't, don't pause break at all. I'm going to tuck him up next to you. I'm just going to come in at 70% throttle. That should give me a fair, fairly good boost of uh, speed. And if you're sitting at 60, no, no, don't pause. Uh, I will be there in a jiffy. I might even run it a fraction faster. Take one degree left or part thereof. Sit off the side of your wing, which would be better. Alright, I'm just topping 1500 knots. You can tell that I'm actually catching you quite well. One degree it turned into two degrees. Yeah, happens at this speed. Coming over some mountains. These are quite high mountains since we're up at 20,000 feet. Yeah, I'm guessing these are the Rocky Mountains. So for those who are coming in late and or jumping into the stream right now, we're taking two Concords at the moment, and we're just trying to get closer to each other. And I think we're coming over the Rocky Mountains on our way to LAX. That's just what it looks like. And the Concorde doing Mark II, we really need to take some more gentle movements here. see some turbans there. There we go, look at the Rocky Mountains. I'll take that off for a moment. Because my autopilot is turning away on me. Alright, slowing down, slowing down. Getting to down to 60%. And lock in 248 at 20,000, thank you. Flight path is good. I may boost just a little bit to get over, and then what I might do is bring it in some gentle movements. So, who do we have watching? Is my stream working okay? Please let me know. I do notice occasionally it's saying that uh, it could run smoother. Uh, you may have a little trouble with the internet. I mean, I've got a decent download at the moment. It's just the upload that we really need. Um, when we get into LAX, or into LA, it, uh, it has a lot of detail. And I know when you get quite low, uh, it becomes a problem. Boost back to 70%, tuck in right next to you. Holding at 1209 knots. I'm doing 1479. No, you must be doing more than that. Oh, no, no. Uh, look for your uh, knots to the ground. So TAS, what are your knots to the ground? Although, I'm doing 1224. So you're doing 1466. Okay. I'm doing 20 more than you. A moment. It buffers every now and then. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I really need to probably stream either late at night like I did last night or earlier in the morning. Uh, when you start sharing it with the neighborhood, it's when you uh, suffer. 
And even though I have a uh, 50 down, 20 up plan, you don't get that. Unfortunately, oh, I'm descending. Let's try getting back to that. 20, okay. I'm on your six. Not doing, what am I doing? 1473, I'm going to tuck in nice and close with you. Very good. It does look good here. Look at these mountains. This is awesome. DRO, what is DRO? Yeah. I'm following you there with the, uh, why has it not got a K in front of it? Durango, La Plata County. Colorado. I knew it was going to be Colorado. Hello. Look at the mountains. <laughs> cool picture. So, uh, Destroyer one to one has sent a picture on my Discord, looking back from the front of his Concord to the front of my Concord. Very nice. Let's tuck this in a little closer. I'm just going to accelerate a bit. flying over this type of land. Whoa, okay. All of a sudden you popped in. Yes, we do need to adjust course, uh, but I'll tuck it in right next to you first, since we finally got this on uh, decent flight level. Work a day glint. 93 is down there, probably thinking, man, those guys are flying by pretty quick. Oh! Uh, I think we're right on the same course. That's pretty close, but unfortunately, the internet's not smooth enough to get it working. Even with a quick picture. No, I take a picture and you'll race ahead. That happens. Oh, I have ascended by mistake. Alright, we probably do need to make a new course adjustment. So I'm going to turn to the left a bit. back onto the flight path. So, 50 Hertz says, whereabouts are you now? So I think we just came out of Colorado. If you uh, look up where K uh, C E Z is, or Z, if you're uh, used to saying it that way, uh, you'll find out where we are. So K C E Z is Cortez. Now Cortez is in Colorado still. Okay. Oh, I have I ascended again? I have to. All right, I'm on two four zero heading. No, two three nine destroyer. Yeah, unfortunately, our internet is not quite 
keeping up on past Mofo 77. I reckon he's probably in a bush plane or something in the mountains there. Doesn't actually say. seem to be moving much, oh well, not much would look like it's moving when we are going this fast though. Uh, it might need to make a slight course adjustment again and get down to about 237 I'm guessing. get back on that flight path. I might just try that myself. Zig e boogie doo. Now there's a name for you. What's your nickname? Ziggy Boogie Doo. How do I spell that? <laughs> Imagine how many times you get asked that. How do I spell that? I can't find you. Hey, okay, thanks for that destroyer. Windows key S. Saved it to your clipboard. Right. Yeah, it popped up my clipboard. Nope. Uh, I don't know whether I need to set that up or what the deal is. I don't think that quite worked. Shift window S, okay. Well, it didn't come up in my stream, so... Oh no, yes it does, there you go. Oh, that stopped my whole computer. No, I didn't like that. Yeah, I'll stick with the F12 button for Steam. I'm heading 236. Have I got off the flight path or did you not make a turn? No, you didn't make a turn, okay. Plumberry, another player. Wow, look how nice it is down there. I mean, a bit rugged, but... Look how fast we're going. Oh my god! That's awesome. I love it. It just buzzes past. That's pretty cool. Fawn Eagle. Hello, Fawn Eagle. Sean Z. Anybody who's watching, you're welcome to come join us. We are on USA West. I'm also in my Discord under Flight Simulator 2020 chat, voice chat. Uh, if you already have the Concorde, that's probably the best aircraft to jump into right now in order to uh, join in. Uh, I do have a bunch of other aircraft in my library, if you look at them, uh, you could probably choose one of those. Uh, I do know the one gentleman that started in my stream tried to keep up in the MiG-21 and had difficulty. I know Destroyer tried the F-35 when he boosted it, but it just gets too rough flying over the uh, 1,000 knots. Alright. So Destroyer, your internet and my internet are not talking nice and smoothly there, unfortunately. So you're jittering back and forth. Which is a bit of a shame. Look at that sun. We, we took off almost dark. Okay, I probably need to... Uh, my autopilot has taken me to 235. I need to get back on to 236. Thank you.
Oh, okay, maybe because I'm streaming. So um, Destroyer said that he that I'm flying smooth to him. Yeah, maybe because I am uploading. So it's probably my internet. I'm also watching my stream. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Probably need to do this a little earlier. All right, you've sped up. All right, I shall speed up to catch. And to consider, we're only doing 70% throttle. Wow, look at the mountains here. Is this the Grand Canyon? Or part thereof? Awesome. An airport nearby. Yes, Grand Canyon. Well, we won't be uh, flying in the Grand Canyon because we kind of buzz past it pretty quickly. Looks a lot better than. Uh, my Crew 2 video that I did flying around the Grand Canyon. I might actually do some more uh, videos on the on the Crew 2. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of a muck around game. A bit of driving, a bit of flying, a bit of a boat. Hey Jerry B. Jerry B says, hello Brett. How far along are you in the flight? So we just passed the Grand Canyon. Woohoo! Oh, that just lagged a bit. That was the Grand Canyon. Doesn't take very long to pass. And Destroyer seems to have got himself going a little faster. I'm uh, sitting at 1,501 knots, but he's still getting away from me in the uh, other British Airways Concorde. So finally got two of these working together. It's 60%. 14.93 knots to the ground, okay. Not sure, maybe my course correction or the likes mucked it up. Yeah, pause for just a second, you'll see me come racing up. Yeah, right, that'll do. <laughs> oh, too much. Yes, we are moving fast. Alright, he's right next to me. Very cool. Uh, yeah, 1500 knots. I might just bring that back to 60% to match. Um, these things actually work very well. They do use a Super Cruise. Super Cruise, uh, if you've actually ever seen the documentary on the um, the Concorde, it's something to do with this little flap here that moves down to compress the air in here, changing the pressure before it hits the, um, the jet engine. So it slows down the airspeed then allowing the jet to work very well. But it also has something to do with a pressure change, which allowed them to get what they call super cruise, a speed or enough thrust coming out of it because of that, that they do not need to use afterburner. So even fighter jets with afterburner can struggle to, to get to the speed that this thing does and or to maintain it. So this cruised at Mark 2.4. That's just insane. Well, I'm getting a bit of cloud here. 20,000. Now interior, unfortunately, we can't see out of. Not just because the windshield's up, but because the texture is uh, not playing friendly with us. But I do have some interior dials that are working and some that are not. So some are static, some work. 
There's a few more players around here by the looks. Oh, there's a whole bunch over there. What's over there? The lake, I reckon. Maybe they're buzzing around the lake. Alright, so they're going to come over KIFP. What is KIFP? KIFP is. Lachlan Bullhead International Airport, Arizona. Right. Probably going to. Oh, where's the straw? He's over there. I'm doing uh, 237 direction destroyer, and I'm slightly right of the flight path. But I'm thinking around about Nevada. Uh, no, no, don't pause. You're actually over to my left. And you're only slightly ahead of me, so it's good. Uh, I'm thinking by the time we get to Nevada, we may need to start slowing down. No, I'll probably almost way to California. Get over these mountains. We also will need to start descending. Blowy biker. No blowy bike. 42 has just popped in. He's potentially 200 mile away. So are we going over this airport right now? Oh yeah, there it is there. I have not ported a successful SR-71. I reported my B1B Lancer, Jerry just the other day, after this last patch, and it crashed to desktop the moment I clicked on it. So did the SR-71, I had two of them. I've got a three pack. Uh, I put two in that I had not yet tried, and both of them crashed to desktop. Yeah, Destroy is saying that he tried the SR-71 and it crashed as well. I think there's something to do with whatever files in it. I'm not sure whether it's a GMAX file, because I've noticed in some of the other planes I have that have crashed. Uh, I've got a great tornado that I want to try, um, but it crashes too. Um, if so, are they good? I love those two aircraft. Look, I love them too, and I so want somebody with a successfully flying SR-71 that they can send me the link, because someone on my Discord said they had it, it did work, but now, obviously, if it's crashing, well, we've got to wait for the next patch. But on my world tour, I want an SR-71 to come with me. Look, other people can come in their Concords, but how cool would it be to have maybe a couple of Concords and an SR-71 all cruising at 1,500 knots? Destroyer, you're really getting ahead of me there. I'm going to take this back to 70% then. And you may want to course correct, get yourself back on the... Uh, whoa! Ala uh, 2000 has just jumped in and whoop, disappeared. All right, ahead of us now. I think that might have been a lag thing. TBM9, what's a TBM9? TBM9, I can't remember. I don't know whether they're trying to keep up with us or uh, it's just lagging. It's the propeller plane. It's a Beechcraft, is it? So Jerry is, says, ah, oh, okay, that's a pity, yeah, would love to see that. Yeah, me too. Um, and Jerry, if you've got flights in, you're welcome to join me as well. Depending on your time zone and the likes. Um, 
I'm trying to do a few different stream times at the moment. Oh, destroy, don't stop too too long. Yeah, you're just slightly to my left now. So, Alawa 2000. I don't know whether they're trying to keep up or whether it's, it's lag, but um, awesome. The Palatine's probably not going to do it. If you do manage to get one working, you'd be up for for a flight with you, absolutely. TBM9, turboprop plane. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I don't know if they're slewing around to try and keep up or it was just lagging and they're actually flying past. So I would be, destroyer, I would be taking probably 238 or 239 to get back on the flight. Probably 238, that way you will actually get closer to. Wow, it's busy at LAX. I reckon all these guys are hogging the runway. Look at them all. Oh man. Sorry guys, if my stream is already poor, it might get poorer the closer to LA we get. And there's that guy still trying to keep in front of us. Awesome. No time, you're in Dublin, Ireland, and you're off to bed in a few minutes. Alright. Well, we should be landing in probably 10 or so minutes. Uh, I wonder if I can actually contact LAX. No, not yet. 2.10 a.m. here. Oh, that's, that's like last night when I stayed up that late. Streaming and uh, flying around, mucking around in jets. Oh, the amount of airports that are here. Oh, I saw Palm Springs there for a second. Wow, the US has just got so many airports. Wait, that was Los Angeles Centre. How do I go back? How do I go back? We will tune into all right, and we will request flight following. Holy smiley, look at all the people. Alright, where are you, Destroyer? You're right next to me. We are the fastest things in the air at the moment. <laughs> Alright, wait to see if we get it. Yeah, LAX is so busy, Jerry. Look at it. Oh my god. Wait. Why is my plane turning? Do I have navigation on? I didn't think I did. Yeah, I must have bumped it. Oh, look at that. It's automatically doing it for me. Okay. One zero miles north of Lima 67. I need to zoom in. Where's Lima 67? Right, I'm going to slow down. Uh, destroyer. I'm not sure whether you're behind me or next to me. But I'm going to drop right down 40%. Because it's going to take a while to slow this down. And I know lag's going to come in. But I'm going to ask for permission to land and I'm going to put my gates in. So I'm going to turn off the... Uh, Papa 3GK is probably wondering why is that guy flying so fast past me on both sides. Alright, Los Angeles, thank you. Can I have... Thank you. I don't see LA yet. Oh, keep moving. Oh. Thank you. I got LAX. It's hard to actually grab. 
I'll take a full stop landing, please. Oh, why am I turning? Alright, autopilot off. Oh, wow, look at the lag there. Now, I'm going to have to do a circle here. We're still at 20,000. I don't want to be at 20,000. Oh, man, the lag. <laughs> so many people here. Alright, it's getting a little ridiculous here. Look how... Oh man, I am... Suffering with the internet. Okay. Now, they want me to do a big circle like that to get down. Alright, come on, it's smooth. Alright, thank you. We must have loaded it in. Sorry guys at home. Oh, who's that? Someone flying a jet? Five percent throttle. All right, I need my trim back. Thank you. And I need no autopilot on. Thank you. Hey, my trim really wants to go up. Okay, I'm climbing for some reason. Down. At least there's nobody out this way. It's all water. Sorry, Destroyer, I lost where you went. Looks like you're already making your way down. I'm go the long way. Well, we caught up to that sun, so we took off 5.15 p.m. from New York and it was already dark, the lights were on and start slowing down maybe, sorry I've missed all your comments there Destroyer yeah, yeah, you can uh, look, I've requested landing permission and I'm just going to follow my gates in because I've actually turned the gates on although I really hated how they put the gates on for this uh, makes for a really tight turn something like a Concorde. But, wow, we are, we are still booking it. I don't know. We should have slowed down, like I said, in Nevada. Because I'm a descending, it's still, uh, it's still accelerating. 700 knots. Still the fastest thing in the air. Wait, where did this Troy go? Oh, I lost him. Can we slow down enough is the problem at the moment. I'm going to take the window shield off. You can see the front there. You can just see it moving down. Which is the equivalent of flaps one. Now, um, that's not giving me enough, enough runway to, to land there, so what I might do is go out past those clouds that you can see at the other side of the gate and come in. There's a lot of traffic here. And I'm still trying to descend. Edwards Air Force Base is reasonably close. Yes, I took off from that the other day, didn't I? Now I'm going to do LAX. That's what I uh, I was asking for. So I need other music. Come on, give me something else. Oh yeah, I find landing with uh, big cities like New York when I first came into New York 
It was very difficult as well. Yeah, I might be clear to land, but I'm definitely going to have to bleed some speed off. Uh, and without inside view as well, everything has to be done from outside. Uh, once I work out how to change cockpits though, successfully, I haven't tried that myself. But I found that when I came to Los Angeles the first time, there was lots of lag there too. Yeah, okay, hang on. Thank you, ATC, I acknowledge. And the problem is you do get lots of lag and trying to overcome it.